Ever since I heard there was someone called a colored girl, an evil woman, a bitch, or a nag, I've been trying not to be that and leave bitterness in somebody else's cup. Come to somebody to love me without deep and nasty smelling skull from lie or being left in the street full of lunatics whispering slut, bitch, bitch nigga, get out of here with all of that. I didn't have any of that for you. I gave you what joy I found, and I found joy. Honest fingers around my face, but dead musicians on 78s from Cuba, or live musicians on $5 LPs from Chicago, where I've never been. And I love Willie Colon and Arsenio Rodriguez, especially because I can make the music loud enough so there is no me but dance. And when I can dance like that, there is nothing that can hurt me. But I get tired, and I have to come off the floor. And then, there's that woman who hurt you, who you left three or four times after you put my heart in the bottom of your shoe. You just walked back to where you hurt. And I didn't have nothing. So I went to where somebody had something for me, but he wasn't you. And I was on my way from her house in the bottom of your shoe. So this is not a love poem, because there were only memorial albums available. And even Charlie Mingus wanted desperately to be a pimp. And I won't see Eddie Palmieri for months. So this is a requiem for myself, because I have died in a real way. Not with awkward coffins and doo-wop Cadillacs I used to joke about when I was messing around, but a real dead loving is here for you now. Cause I don't know anymore how to avoid my face wet with my tears cause I had convinced myself colored girls have no right to sorrow. And I lived and loved that way and kept sorrow on the curb, allegedly for you. But I know I did it for myself. I couldn't stand it. I couldn't stand being sorry and colored at the same time. It's so redundant in the modern world.